Cities can make sustainability convenient, enjoyable, and prosperous for everyone. But first we have to understand the real problem sustainability needs to solve. We're all familiar with climate change, but even if we could wave a magic wand and make it go away, we face a much deeper crisis. Species are going extinct many times faster than they have since the dinosaurs, and the rate is increasing. While climate change does cause some extinctions, most are caused by habitat destruction. Our crops, lawns, homes, highways, mines, and industries occupy half the dry land area of the Earth. And these, plus our maritime activities, have killed off half the living biomass on this planet. Worse, it's not random. Cheap, undeveloped land holds most of the biodiversity. When we plow, pave, or graze it, the consequences slowly but surely come back to bite us. For example, 98% of the flowering meadow in the United Kingdom is gone now, and so are most of its wild pollinators. Their parasites have moved on to commercial honeybees, causing winter die-offs six times higher than normal. That's bad. Honeybees pollinate 70% of the crops that provide 90% of the world's nutrition. If bees become scarce, good food will get scarce for billions of people. And guess what? Throughout the world, honeybees are dying off for a variety of reasons, all of which boil down to people using too much land. Okay then, what's our fair share? How much land should we be using if we want to thrive? If a number comes to mind, put your best guess in the comments. You'll find our best estimate in the next video, and it may be a shock. But understanding this key point is the first important step towards a much more prosperous world.